Hello everyone, it's Delia here from My Belly and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be starting a brand new Let's Build series because you guys seem to enjoy the last one and I enjoyed it too so I thought I would do another one. I did a vote a few days ago about which one you would like to see out of several topics but I had a little issue because when I checked out, uh, I think it was Farmhouse that one, I realized little Simsy was building a farmhouse at the moment in a Let's Build and then the second one was like being built by Jay on his channel so I was like oh so in the end I've decided to build an orphanage just because it's something I've never done before and I feel like it is an interesting build to do and it's an a kind of build that might be motivating and inspiring for you guys to put into your games to have some different storylines you know different gameplay that you might not usually have so that's what we're gonna work on and I'm excited so without further ado let's get into it get cozy get comfy let's build oh wow my hair's a little bit oily today but oh well at least your girl went for a run I'm actually in Windenburg this time I often call Willow Creek Windenburg for some reason I do have a reference image that I'm looking at uh, to inspire this build. It'll probably have a very similar look and feel to the reference image I'm assuming just because I liked that it could kind of be a little bit creepy or it could be like nice. It could be either or. I think we'll furnish it in a nice way but who knows what kind of storyline you could tell. You know what I think I'm gonna kind of put a piece here that goes back. It'll probably be a little bit bigger at the back than it is in the picture and oh no I'm already messing this up. Up. Let's start again. Sometimes I actually feel like it's easier to do a little bit of a floor plan um, using this tool. What is this tool called? The flat square. The flat square. And we're going to need a balcony that kind of goes all the way across. So I'm just going to pop that there. Then we're going to need some underground area. So I'm just going to pop that there. Then we kind of have a little bit of this house that sits back a little bit and it goes across quite far. And then we have another piece that sits in front a little bit and I'm already going above the balcony. So that's, that's great. <laughs> Let's pull that back a little bit. And it actually probably houses two or three windows. So maybe we'll make it that size. Maybe we'll just pull this one in a little bit. And then we have this really cool like turret pot is that like a turret would you call it I don't even know but but it's pretty pretty badass so we're gonna put that on the side um I might even do it just like this and this is this is where I get a little bit confused I'm not the greatest at doing diagonal pieces so I don't know if I should do it by two or by one you know what I think we should do it by one so I'm just gonna go like that like that like that like that like that. Is that too small? Yeah, we'll soon find out. We're just gonna kind of go for it. And I think it goes up around about three levels. Who knows what the truck we're gonna put in here, but you know what? We'll worry about that when we get to that. <laughs> we'll worry about the floor plan when we get to the floor plan. And in all fairness, I'm pretty sure these walls look a little bit higher because they've got that kind of high Victorian looking ceilings. You know what I mean? Like I swear Victorian houses look a little bit bigger. Um, than other architecture sometimes like things are just slimmer and taller two things that I will never get to relate to I really do wish I was tall like that would have been so nice to have a little bit of height you know but alas <laughs> it's never gonna happen for me okay and don't worry we're gonna fix up the back of this house in a little while because clearly right now it's just a hot mess I'm assuming we're going to have a pretty big door, but I assume the door is going to be by three. So I might put a by three staircase here. That's pretty big. That's a pretty generous, that's a pretty generous big boy. And then I'm thinking what would be great is if we actually use some Strangeville um, columns and whatnot. I think that's going to look really nice. We need to put on our move objects cheat. La 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 la. Oops. Accidentally put one on the ground. Oopsie doopsies. What I actually really love, I love a really nice good sit on the ground. You know, if I'm ever really tired, I'll go sit on the ground instead of the couch. And I wonder if it's because I need a, a more comfortable couch or if it's just who I is. <laughs> is it just no matter how comfortable a couch is, I will always sit on the ground. I don't know. And I don't know if anyone else does that. 
I also really love doing creative projects on the ground. So I like sit on the ground and do drawing or I'll put things together on the ground when I was at uni because I actually did study graphic design at uni. Not sure if you guys know that. I would just sit on the ground to do all of my projects. And when I was living at home with my mom, it drove her nutballs because there was always stuff on the ground. I'm pretty sure there's like um, paint marks all over the walls too, which is a little bit awkward, but she's let me do that, which is really nice. But if you're an art student, I'm sure you know what it's like where you just want to get all your projects done and you want to be as creative and free as possible. Well, try and keep in mind that if you're living with others, it may, and in all fairness, really frustrate them. Pull that roof down a little bit move this across and I'm hoping that we can just kind of make it low enough so that we still get a little bit of the fencing oh we're not gonna fit the fencing in that's really upsetting uh I really wanted some of this beautiful fencing to kind of stick over the top but it's not gonna do it with that roof I'm just thinking if there's any other way we can do it or if we're gonna just have to I think we're just gonna have to leave it as is unless we just go like this and have like a blank space here, but that that's just gonna be whack, isn't it? That's gonna be weird. So I guess we'll keep it like this. I'm also gonna put a little, a little roof in here, just like a little something, something. I might actually move it all the way here and then just make it very, very shallow. So it just tucks into the roof behind. Ah, that's beautiful. No, it's not. It needs to be lower. There we go. I mean, just the detailing's nice, I think. And then up here, we are going to do another one of these roofs. It's kind of reminding me of a dollhouse a little bit. Ooh, and sometimes when I do a roof that goes all the way to, to the back, it can kind of direct what the back of the build looks like a little bit. Like, see how we're going to just make this into one big block that's very nice and then I'm not looking forward to doing the roofing on this because I always mess it up actually I wonder if we can perhaps go ahead and oh maybe we could do this I'm just thinking if we can make this a little bit fancy pantsy maybe make it oh god oh good grief maybe if we pull that in it could kind of look cute I don't know maybe we need to kind of change the height of this to kind of match that I have a vision in my mind and I'm just not sure if I'm going to be able to achieve it. That's my only issue. <laughs> oh God, it looks so bad. I just, uh, can we tuck that in anymore? No, we can't. What happens if we brought this in a little bit? So we have little, little peekaboo roofs. I don't know. I think it looks better. Just simple before. Although that, does that look okay? Oh, good grief. No, it looks horrendous. I do like that it's different and creative, but I, I feel like we're forcing something that just shouldn't, that just shouldn't really be evolving at all. So let's just keep it simple. <laughs> okay, how many sides does this have? Eight, I think. Oh, I was really nervous for that, but that actually was not so bad after all. And we wanna make it look very like proper. Uh, and then this is a little bit awkward. I feel like this should be, a little wider. I mean, the orphanage is gonna need a lot of rooms. I don't know if it's just an orphanage for kids or if it's an orphanage for teens as well. I'm just not sure how I should go about it. Um, but I do feel like there should be some kind of deck over here at the back. So yeah, let's maybe, let's maybe build up on that. Um, this can be like a deck area. Maybe it comes out and around a little bit. Uh, could go like this. You know, do something a little bit interesting, a little bit different, a little bit unusual. Get some fencing. I don't know what we're going to put under it. I suppose we just put like the usual kind of stilts or something. Uh, I don't know if, I, uh, if only we had curved walls, we could put a nice curved wall under it. You know what? I hate it. I really strongly dislike it. I think this is one of those things where we're trying too hard. What are those? Oh God. Now we have creepy floating no what are those we're just gonna pretend that they're maybe this is a haunted orphanage so there's weird flirty things you know what just ignore it everything's gonna be fine okay let's maybe put a couple of these in bam 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 oh my gosh is there actually no matching stairs railing for these is that really there's no matching am i going crazy no 
there isn't. There's only this one kind, which does look pretty cute, I will say. Um, I mean, it'll do. It's not ideal. Oh my gosh, those flirty things look like creepy floating candlesticks or something. Ah, I'm scared. Okay, then we can kind of put this across. I feel like this is not going to be big enough to be an orphanage, but we'll have a look at the floor plan in a second. I just sense it's going to have to be a lot bigger. Um, but I think as a build, it's looking kind of cool right now. I think it's coming along. Now I've got to put a couple of these pillars underneath here and we're actually going to delete these walls or maybe we'll put some spandrels under there. So we'll just go to this. Should we do the matching ones from Strangerville? Um, I think if we hold down alt, you'll be able to do like one by one like this. I don't know. Do we like those the most or are we going to prefer this kind of a thing? Oh, no, no, no. I think the first one, or we could use a bit of vampires. Whoa, that is like really, really oversized. I feel like that is a little bit too much. So maybe we will just go with these. Oh yeah, that's nice. I think originally I was like, no, we won't use these. But I think the fact that they're a little less ornamental than the others works in our favor. I think that probably suits the build more. Damn it, I cannot place these columns today. Oh yeah, kind of looks cool. Should we maybe put some... I feel like there should be another column under here and then maybe some spandrels on here too. Wait, did that just delete all the spandrels? Oh no, I, I was just going crazy for a second. I was like, oh my gosh, what happened to our beautiful spandrels? But you guys were fine. Oh my gosh, no we're not, no we're not. Never knew spandrels was like the most stressful thing ever. Why can't we put spandrels like right here? I want them over the staircase, but apparently we're not allowed to do that. Maybe if I go like that, and then put the spandrels in. I can then put the staircase in and everybody will be happy. There you go, we figured it out. It was just playing a little bit hard to get to begin with, but you can't fool us, can ya? Oh, where's our wall gone? Coming back around to the area where our floating candlesticks are. I'm also gonna pop a few over here, just like that. I don't know why I'm speaking in a weird accent. So there's like another little underground area right here. Oh, there's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of columns right there. Pop that like that, that like that, that like that. Spandrels everywhere. You know what? I'm actually thinking this is a little crazy, but I kind of want to bring the deck out more. I just feel like it would look better like this. I'm just going to lift that up a little bit, just like that. Uh, which means, oh God, that means we need to bring the staircase out a little bit. Did I bring this out too far? Is that just gonna look bizarre? Okay, I think this looks better. I just brought it out just a tad because I felt like it was just a little bit too narrow and I did want this to be underneath this wall here and I felt like if it wasn't, it was just gonna look a little bit all over the place, a little bit odd, so it's okay. We've figured it all out and I think it's coming along. All we need to do is put some windows in and I think we've got now an exterior going. Okay, in terms of windows, we could go in so many different directions. Like we could use ones from Seasons. If we wanted more of like a friendly modern look, we could definitely go with Strangerville, which I know I always call Stranger Things. My only issue with that is the, the windows are so small. Um, I just feel like we don't, oh wait, no, we do have bigger options. Oh, well maybe we should go with this. Cause then if you do have Strangerville, then you do have quite a lot of the items needed to build this pack. So maybe we should do that. Um, let's see, let's filter them out. Okay, so we could use these. I'm just wondering what colors we wanna go for. Like, do we wanna go for dark woods? Do we gonna, do we wanna go for whites and make it like a real dollhouse looking orphanage or blues, blues are really nice. Reds are kind of interesting and a little bit more theatrical. Um, and the blue is gorgeous as well. Oh, that's actually really nice with the dark and then the light blue. Guys, I'm going to have so much trouble deciding all the green. The green is quite, you know, scholarly, if that makes any sense, or the lime green. I'm kind of tempted to do the green just because it's something that I never, ever do. And then we could like go full on green theme. No, we're not going to do that because that's absolutely hideous. And I can't live with myself if I pick that. So we could do green and these browns, but those browns are... They're very old school, like it's very, very old fashioned. OK, 
can Delhi deal with more old fashioned look? I think I can. I think it's good for me. I think I should live outside of my tiny box for once. So let's do it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I do like this. Oh, wow. I do like this. I do like the windows at different heights. Oh my gosh. Woman, get your, like, pull yourself together. Okay, we're just gonna put a whole heap of these. I love um, doing windows on these because it's so easy. Oh, well, it was so easy before I realized I couldn't place them there. <laughs> um, I mean, we could mix it up and just put smaller ones in the basement area, or we could even go with these pointy ones. I don't think they look so nice though. Eh, we'll just go with these, you know, this is the lower level. This is, um, maybe the bedrooms will be down there. I don't know. Okay, so we've got these. I wanna go back to my windows. To the window, to the wall. Oh, we also have green ones too, not just this brown color. Okay, uh, we also need to figure out the front door. So maybe we should have a look at that right away. These are beautiful front doors. No, it's a buy two door. So we definitely need to use the buy three door. Phew, and let's see if it comes in the colorway that we were hoping for. Where is it? Ooh, there it is. That is cute for an orphanage, like. I'm feeling it, okay? I'm feeling it. I am curious to see what you guys can say in the comments though. It's definitely like an older classic house. Um, it's like historic, you know? I have no idea if we're gonna like put bricks with this or weatherboard or what we're gonna do, but we will find out shortly. Otherwise, I think if we weren't gonna do that, I would definitely go with the red. Oh God, as soon as I put the red in, I'm like, oh, that's so cute. Let's just go with this for now and, and we'll see how we go. Um, it'll depend on what we pick for the rest of the wallpaper, I think. I love windows. Just gonna put a couple of windows here and a couple of windows over here. Couple of morning to ya. There we go, there we go. It's quite pretty, bam, bam. I mean, it's very easy when you're working with just a very symmetrical house. Ooh, should we put that window there? That's beautiful. I am obsessed with that window. Should we maybe put two more here? Are we going a little bit overboard with them? Probably. I'll just put these elongated ones just there. Okay, I think this is looking pretty good. Maybe a couple next to the front door? Yeah. Or is that, no, we better only have one there. And then down here, what do we want to do? Uh, I guess we're going to have to keep it pretty simple. We could just put these down here. I don't know how you get in under the stairs though. We're going to have to get another one of these doors, I suppose. But the only door from this pack that works under here is this one. Maybe I'll put this door underneath. This one's from Get Together and it's kind of creepy looking. We'll just kind of hide it behind the staircase and we can put another one over here. Just gonna put some little windows around. Maybe there's not very many windows in the basement, so it's a little bit creepy. <laughs> then I feel like all of these would need to be a darker color. I don't think the white really works. There is the green and brown theme for the columns, but I actually think I'm just gonna stick with the, uh, the brown. Okay, I've gone ahead and changed the coloring of a lot of that, so now it's all kind of darker and it's definitely looking a little bit more historic now. And now I'm kind of tempted to do bricks, I think, like an older brick, but I realize this could easily look absolutely hideous. So I need to be really careful considering what we choose because this could look so bad. I mean, we could go with this kind of thing, but then it just looks like it belongs in a forest and I'm just not sure if I'm feeling that aesthetic right now. I'm actually having a look now. Um, I've just filtered this into like colors to see if we can find any greens that kind of match the shutters, but all of the greens are just a little bit too light, I think. There's not really anything deep enough. We do have these like faux wood shingles, but that almost looks like too bright. I mean, it could work if we maybe do this, like only part of the house in the shingles, and then we do the other part in brick. That could actually work out okay. Um, there's also like the half half option, which is kind of cool. So it could work. And maybe we could put the bricks like around here from Get Famous. They kind of make it a little bit more warmer, I suppose, like warm up the green and break it up a little bit. So it's not like bam, green shingles everywhere. Could even put brick on the lower floor so it looks a little bit more like a basement level down here. Yeah, we could just go the whole hog over here and just put all of this as bricks on one side. I mean, I do like the bricks. I think that does kind of work. 
think I'm just gonna build a bit of a fence around the property to you know, keep the kids safe or keep them inside depending on what storyline you want to go with. A big fence there. Now, I know this is by four, but what I'm going to do is put like a little something area over here just to even it out so it doesn't look as skewed. Well, maybe this fence is better. This one's from Romantic Garden Stuff Pack. Mm, that's a bit red. Let's go this brown color. Okay, guys, I think this is the start of our orphanage. So it definitely could go either way. It could have a bit of a creepy vibe or an old fashioned vibe, or it could be an old historic building that's really, really nice inside. So let me know in the comments down below what you would prefer in terms of the interior aesthetic. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below and we'll see how we go in the next part. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You know the drill. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. So soon.